as a teacher, I'm always looking for ways to kind of improve, step up, take my game to the next level, and share more with students in class and outside of class, and just interact and learn more about them. So in this video, I thought I would talk about three quick, simple, and most importantly, free ways that you, as a teacher in China, can up your teaching game and talk more with your students. Now with these three methods, uh, two of them, you're actually going to need WeChat. WeChat, this app that I'm always talking about in my videos, it's a super important app to get, so whenever you move to China, you've got to get it, absolutely. The first way you're going to use WeChat is to put your class into groups. You're going to have a WeChat group for every single class that you teach. Now, this is probably only going to work if you're at a university because high school students and younger, they won't be allowed phones in class. So first, get all of your students uh, in every class to get in a WeChat group. That way, you can share uh, photos of your whiteboard when class is done. So like whatever feedback that you leave in terms of like grammar notes or anything like that, vocabulary, just take a photo of your whiteboard, throw it up in the class group. That way, they'll just have a way to quickly look back and see what you did in class. And you can also use that to share PowerPoints or videos or things like that. But WeChat does have an, a file upload limit size, so that will lead into number two, which I'll talk about in a second. I mainly use my WeChat groups for assigning homework, uh, taking photos of the uh, whiteboard, and just general chat if anyone's got questions and things like that. But I also do use it for in-class activities. So if I have an information gap activity, for example, I will send you know an A part and a B part, maybe even a C part in there. I'll say, okay, A, and then a photo of whatever. B, photo of whatever, and then C, a photo of whatever, or a form or something like that, a survey. And the students can actually get their phones out, they can look at it, and they can use it to complete the activity. It, it works really, really well, actually. Students love to be able to use their phones in class. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just something you got to roll with, right? You don't like to use a lot of phones in the classroom, but when you do, it actually, it's really nice because it surprises the students, oh, we can use our phones amazing and it breaks the routine of just looking at a PowerPoint or writing notes or something like that so it's it definitely definitely use WeChat in class the second way to improve your classes is to use this website I really like called Mike CRM Mike CRM is basically it's a form and survey website so you can create little forms little surveys for your students in the way of homework or if you want to get them to submit essays or things like that they can do that all on that website. You can customize the forms to say whatever you like. So I get like name, class time, student number, and then whatever the assignment is. Last week in class, I got them to make a study plan, set a goal for by the end of the semester, I will be able to do this. And then to create three to five specific points on how they will achieve that goal. And then also to leave class suggestions, suggestions for what we can study during the semester. And so, they just did that on WeChat or have them watch a movie, a video, a TV show or something. Have them pick a few phrases that they can imitate for connected speech, sound reduction, um, you know, fluency, intonation, stuff like that. And you can get them to say, I watched this movie, I picked these phrases, etc, etc. So that's a fantastic tool to have at your disposal. And of course, it's not blocked in China. It's fully integrated into WeChat. It's great. And the third thing that you can use for your classes is something called Baidu Pan. So Baidu Pan is essentially China's version of Dropbox. It's China's version of Dropbox. It's in Chinese only, but I will leave a link to my Dropbox account uh, or my Baidu account or both where you can actually download the file where I've left translations for everything. So if you don't read Chinese, you can still set up an account. You can still uh, use Baidu Pan by using that little translation guide. Because if you wanna share videos or movies, uh, little workshops, if you wanna share uh, other things you've done in class, PowerPoints, any sort of materials, you can, you can upload whatever you want on there. And obviously that's a big game changer because the students can access this at any time, whatever they need, they can pick and choose whatever they download, and it's all free. Everyone's got a Baidu account here. Everyone is able to access this. Uh, nothing's blocked because it's of course a Chinese service. It's 
It's a game changer. It's absolutely a game changer. So I use it to share things that I like. I share documents about how to learn English through movies or TV shows. I have little pronunciation videos for certain problem sounds. I have uh, pronunciation workshops on there. I have books. I have a lot of different things there. It's, it's a really great thing for students to have because the students know that, hey, you've taken the time to upload all this. You've taken the time to find all these resources and it shows that you care. And if the students can see that you care and you're taking this time, they are much more likely to care themselves. So those are the three tools, the three ways that you can step up your teaching aim and be more effective in and outside the classroom. If you have any other quick tips, leave them down in the comments below and I might either adopt some of them myself, I might shout them out in a video, or I'll just get back to you in comments. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. Good luck with your teaching. I'll see you all next time.